been a little bit of an ongoing war, a uh, bit of a cold war, I guess you'd say, between Bernie Sanders and... I call and it a hot war. See, and I think it's a hot war. Now we'll yeah. go with that. Um, okay, so it all started when Bernie put on a statement calling out the media for their absolutely abysmal coverage of what is in the reconciliation bill. Let's throw that tear sheet up on the screen with some of the details here. Sanders blames media for Americans not knowing details of Biden's spending plan. Part of what he says, I wish I could do a good burning voice, is he says, the reality that the mainstream media has done an exceptionally poor job in covering what actually is in the legislation. There have been endless stories about the politics of passing Build Back Better, the role of the president, the conflicts in the House and the Senate, the opposition of two senators, the size of the bill, et cetera, but very limited coverage as to what the provisions of the bill are and the crises for working people that they address. Obviously, this is something, that failure of the media is something we have discussed here, and we've mm -hmm. also tried to bring you the actual details of the bill, since apparently uh, very few other places are going to. I don't know why it's so difficult. but Not that difficult, guys. Really not that difficult. So, uh, one CNN anchor didn't take too kindly to Bernie daring to dis besmirch the good name of the media in outlets <laughs> like CNN. Uh, Brianna Keeler <laughs> put out this tweet. She was like, it's blame media o'clock and Bernie Sanders is right on time. And she did a whole lengthy segment trying to take apart Bernie's criticism, how dare he, of CNN and other outlets. Let's take a li little listen to what she had to say. Senator Bernie Sanders put out a statement this weekend blaming the media as the main reason for why Americans don't know what's in the Build Back Better plan. He wrote, quote, at the top of the list is the reality that the mainstream media has done an exceptionally poor job in covering what actually is in the legislation. There have been endless stories about the politics of passing Build Back Better, the role of the president, the conflicts in the House and Senate, the opposition of two senators, the size of the bill, and very limited coverage as to what the provisions of the bill are and the crises for working people that they address. Let's take a look at what all he is saying here, because while the media should always be striving to do a better job, it's just not true that the media hasn't covered what is in the bill and doesn't continue to do so. Media outlet after media outlet has covered this. And it's very easy to find online if you want to know about it. And on television, I mean, just looking at CNN, segment after segment about what is in the bill. In his statement, Sanders refers to how popular the policy provisions in the legislation are when Americans are polled about them. So that's what Democrats obviously should be selling. But one of Sanders' former colleagues, Al Franken, says Democrats could be doing a better job of that. There is so much in this package that, and what I don't like is when we refer to it as the reconciliation package, instead of the elements of it, because the elements are so popular. We can't do it without the reconciliation package. At the end of the day, I am absolutely convinced we're going to have a strong infrastructure bill, and we're going to have a great consequential reconciliation bill, which addresses the needs of the American people. Let's talk about Sanders' complaint that the media focuses a lot on how much the bill will cost. Well, guilty, but the price tag matters. That price tag determines what will be in the bill of those policy provisions, and Democrats cannot agree on the price tag. It's the sticking point. So effectively, you got Bernie saying, media isn't really covering the substance here. Brianna Keeler saying, of course we are. Look, here's some screenshots that show the media yeah. covering. Okay, okay. so um, Adam Johnson and his colleague, Gabe Levine Dreisen, over at the column Substack, did a little analysis on CNN's coverage of the reconciliation bill soccer, and you will be shocked to learn that they spent almost no time on the details of what is actually in the bill. Here's their headline. We can throw yeah. this up on the screen. On reconciliation bill, CNN aired horse race coverage <laughs> 11 times more than substance. Um, he says, I surveyed 12 CNN segments over a four-day period. We found it was 91.3% horse race. To give you a little bit more of the details here, they say of the two hours and six minutes of total coverage analyzed, 10 minutes out of that two hours was dedicated to discussing what was actually in the bill. An hour and 55 minutes of airtime was spent on the horse race. And oh, by the way, as an aside, 
Most of the minutes that were actually spent talking about what was in the bill, it was because they had a progressive on, and that progressive was <laughs> Bernie or Pramila Jayapal or whoever was actually talking about the substance of what yeah, was in the bill. Yeah, this reminds so me of what go. John Stewart said on Jake Tapper, which we covered earlier this week, which is that he pointed to the fact that he's like, all these guys know how to do is cover division, and whether it's going to be midterms so or not. I have said it here so many times. Nobody cares about one, one trillion dollars of, I don't know, like UBI is a lot different than a trillion dollars of whatever the hell is in this bill, as in the substance of it matters. They don't mention that almost ever. It's always about 1.6 versus 1.3. What the hell does that mean? Why should I care? 1.3 trillion dollars is what we spent in like Afghanistan. Is that the same thing as what's happening here? Absolutely not. And there inability in order to try and communicate this is because, frankly, these people are stupid. And the only thing that they really know how to cover is polls and whether somebody is up or down, beltway Mm -hmm. drama. That's the only thing. It's the way that they came up through their careers. The media is not built or designed in order to tell you what is actually going on. Well, and, and Adam points this out. Like, just think about the fact CNN has so many resources. Yeah, billions. They yeah. have reporters across the country. They have reporters around the world. Mm-hmm. They have budgets. So they could fly to a town. They could go to that town. They could talk to people there. They could think about like, hey, if you had universal pre-K for your kid, what would that look like? If you had options and affordability of elder care for your aging parents, what would that mean for your life? If you had if you young person are able to go to community college for free, how does that change your trajectory? Not like literally not one segment like that. Not one when they have so many resources where they could send people out and actually contextualize this and make it real for people. Um, And look, I don't want to let the democratic party off the hook. Like they've been atrocious and build back better is terrible. They've been atrocious messaging about this. Mm -hmm. They've also gone into this like, Oh, is it three and a half or is it one and a half? Like, obsessing over the top line rather than details as well. So they could have done a much better job too. But that does not let the media off the hook here whatsoever. They just, I mean, it's almost sociopathic how literally they care about what this bill would actually mean to the human beings that would be impacted. And so then it's no surprise when you poll people, the thing they know most about this bill is what the top line number is. Exactly. That's the thing. I mean, that's what the polls show. They don't actually know that community college was floated. Now Biden's taken it out. They don't know about the climate provision. They don't know about preschool. Whether they would like those things or hate those things, they don't even know that they're there. All they know is like this stupid battle over the top line number. And yes, that is Brianna Kaler. And to all of your colleagues at CNN and Fox News and MSNBC as well, that is in part your failing to be able to contextualize it and make it real for people so that they feel like they have something at stake in these negotiations. Yeah, that's exactly right. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We're going to have more for you later. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching. That's right. Just as a reminder, you can become a premium subscriber today. Watch the full show completely uncut. Our reactions to each other's monologues. You get to listen to it. You get to ask us questions. All that good stuff. Link is right there in the description or at breakingpoints.com. Best of all, great way to say screw you to the mainstream media.